So this video is about fingerprint security layer on top of Salesforce One. You must be wondering why we need it. So I am on my Android phone and uh, let's say I gave it some uh, this phone to a guest, let's say my friend, a neighbor or somebody because that's a common gesture. It happens that somebody comes and asks for your phone and he accidentally sees this desktop and hits Salesforce One. So all of a sudden what he is able to see is all my enterprise data which he is not supposed to see. So we thought that okay some of the details are fine to see but some details are really sensitive. So why don't we add a layer of security so that even if somebody is sharing your mobile but without a thumbprint or a fingerprint access or a touch ID access they shouldn't be able to get access to that data. So here is the demonstration of the same we created a mobile card which uh, basically times out after every minute once you authorize it and if you open the app after a minute it will ask you for a fingerprint authorization before showing any sensitive data so what i am doing right now is i am hitting this uh, thing it will open up the page and it will ask me to hit the thumbprint again so let me do it so now what you see is we have created a small Cordova app using Ionic and Salesforce uh, APIs. What it is asking is it's using your touch ID or the fingerprint scanner to confirm uh, the access. So I can type the pin password or I can do the fingerprint thing. So I will not type password. I will just touch via thumb. I can't simulate here because I'm using an app called Visor to replicate the mobile to my desktop. So let me just quickly touch my finger here. So I'm authorized, it's uh, done. And uh, now if we come back to the app, so you can see that it's showing us details. So Swiss bank account number, I'm sure many of the Indian guys will understand that many of our rich guys, they keep their money in Swiss banks and this is a sensitive bank account number they might not want anyone to see so that's just a use case we can have any number of fields like this which could be hidden behind an extra layer of security without exposing them directly like in a layout like this so what next from here uh, this was an experiment but uh, the idea was to just raise out a voice and shout out to Salesforce that uh, it could be a cool feature in Salesforce One itself because I think Salesforce One is Cordova app and it can very well use the native features of the uh, mobile uh, device like Touch ID, fingerprint scanners. So we are in no mood to compete with uh, Salesforce One here and create an app of our own. This is just a fun experiment uh, by Concrete Your Research team and hope you like it. Thanks for watching the video and uh, do share your thoughts over comment.